Hello, um, Christmas Eve now, uh, and I am about to make the um, chocolate hazelnut brioche, I think it's called. I'm going to show you a picture. I made the dough yesterday. I had it proving overnight in the fridge, and um, I've started um, dividing up the dough, but I'll show you what we're making first. So this one, the chocolate hazelnut brioche. So it is a dough that uses um, milk. And um, all I'm going to show you now is the actual creation of the um, shape, I guess. So let's get going. So what I've done, I have divided, I divided the dough into four. And actually, I'm just going to show you this. I've just put a little bowl in there and I've actually weighed. So I've got, you know, pretty much equal amounts of um, dough in my four balls, which is what it's asked me to do. So I've rolled one out. This is our pizza tray. It's a little bit smaller than they say, but um, the, the really helpful thing is this mat, which is a host reward. So this is about 24 centimetres. So I'm rolling these out to 24 centimetres. I need four um, rounds of 24 centimetres, okay? Um, but I, I was going to roll them all out beforehand, but you know what? I'm just finding as I, um, as I roll them out, they're sort of shrinking when I put them on there. So I'm going to just get out the Nutella. You can make your own Nutella. Apparently, um, so I've been told, uh, it, it's a little bit dry for this, but you could probably add a bit of milk or something like that. But I am doing this. And I have, what it tells me to do is place one roll of dough on the tray and spread a third of the chop of the hazelnut um, on it. I'm not sure how much hazelnut. Anyway, I'm just going to spread some hazelnut spread on there. So on this one okay so i'm just gonna spread some of this out i think it said 300 i don't know what's in here what does it say there's not spread with cocoa 400 grams so okay so it's nearly well, three quarters of a tin or jar oh it smells good i won't be eating this but um this is for brunch tomorrow Hopefully, I'm hoping this is all going to work nicely. So I'm literally going to do that. Oh, it says leave a little bit of a gap at the edge, which I haven't done a very good job on. Okay. Hmm. Now, roll this one out a bit more. And it's literally a case of oops, layering each one on top. So what I found when I did this last time, it all it all shrinks back a bit. So I'm gonna put that on there. Try and get this sort of over and pull this out to the edges. There we go. That'll do. Okay. Then I have to spread some more Nutella on there. So I think what, what we're doing for brunch tomorrow, um, I'm going to make some potato rosti. We've got smoked salmon. We're going to have ham. We can do some eggs. Um, but I have a daughter who doesn't really like any of that. This will be right up her alley, I am hoping. I don't know what you guys are doing. But that's what we're doing for, for brunch. And then we're um, with my mother-in-law, who is 96. And then we're going to um, head up to Ballarat with all that traffic and um, happy afternoon with our daughter and um, her partner and his mum. So there'll be how many of us? Uh, six of us. So it's a small Christmas for us this year. It's interesting. I was talking to quite a few people and um, people who had it, you know, it might be there. That might have been there on New Year last year, you know, to have all the rallies there or whatever, and um, couldn't happen because of COVID and lockdowns and everything. Uh, but now everybody's just moved that forward a year, so it's an off year again for some people. All right. See, that looks really nice on there. When I lift it up, it, it, it shrinks back in. So I'm sure Irene would tell me exactly what I've done wrong, but... Um, 
being the amateur I am with all this stuff, I'm just going to keep going. Okay. So lift it over that previous layer. Goodness me. All right. Next one. So the, there is a really nice pizza tray in the mix shop, a rose gold one. We had at a previous house, we've had a Unox oven, which is actually a commercial oven. Uh, we had it outside uh, in an entertainment area. It was fantastic. And it did pizzas in, in a few minutes. So I like the Ivana does pizzas in a few minutes. See, my, my layers are sort of getting smaller as I go up. So I need to sort that out. Maybe I'll just do a really big layer on the top. So there we go. That's all my um, material I need. Now what I've got to do is roll this one out. Might make it a little bit bigger, as I said, so it goes right over the top there. Yeah, maybe I was a bit smaller when I was really my problem. So I'd love to know what you're doing for Christmas and what you're doing for if you're brunching, if you're lunching, if you're dinnering. Have you made anything from Flicky Do? So we'd love to know what it is. So if you, I don't know, I don't I seem to miss out on this again this year, but um you can uh get your usage on cookie do i thought i'd sign or, or give my permission for everything but obviously i haven't so i can't see mine but some people are it tells you what's your most used fresh ingredient what's you cooked most um and um yeah probably quite interesting all right so there we go that was a good idea making that top one a bit bigger so that's what i've got i've got um, three or four layers of dough and I have three layers obviously of the um, uh, Nutella. So now I might get a clean knife. So now what I have to do is get a jar or a glass or something, I'm just using a small one because this is a bit of a small brioche. If it was a bigger one, I could do a bigger one. And I've got a jar so that's just Press lightly into the centre of the dough. So I'm going to push in there like that. So I don't want it, um, I don't want it all the way through, but it's giving me a bit of a guide. Then I'm going to cut into quarters right the way. Oops, use the right side of the knife, Mandy. And this is a good thing about doing it. You wouldn't use a knife on the um, silicon mat, obviously. That does have to go all the way through. It's four quickly. Okay, then I have to cut those in half again. Yeah, I'm going to sharpen the knife a bit there. Put that up. Yep. Those in half. Okay, so now we've got eighths. And then we have to go again. So we're doing sixteenths. So I've got one. Two, oh, sorry, that's four now. Uh, let's try and get right to the edge to cut all the way through because we're going to twist these in a minute. I don't think it matters if it's a bit a nutellery on the top. I will give it a quick little 
Right. There you go, keep going. And the last one. Okay. All right, so I've got 16 cuts. Looks a bit messy, but anyway, here we go. Okay, so now what I need to do, I need to get two pieces, pick up two pieces, neighboring pieces, is the tricky bit. Oops. Where you need to have it really cut through. All right. Then oh God, just go back. Twist outwards twice. Now these aren't very big, so I'll see how I go. But you're twisting them away from each other. Like that. Twice. There we go. Okay, can you see how that is? And then Pinch the ends again, together, again, together to seal. Okay, this does need to dry. Clean hand dropping. Uh, I might just loosen these up off the bottom first. One. Yeah. Okay. So same deal. Picking them up. I'm twisting. And I'm twisting again and putting it back down. Definitely a bit of a clean between each one. Now, I think part of my problem is I did take the Nutella out to right to the edge, which um, I shouldn't have done. That's why it's a little bit messy, but you know what? It doesn't matter, it's all chocolate. <laughs> So let's just see if I, I don't know if I do it this way, if you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm literally picking up, I'm twisting and twisting again. Keep going all the way around. Lift that one up off the base. Lift this one up. So I suggest I did actually grease this really well, but I um, might have needed a little bit more. Again, picking these up, twisting, and twisting again. There we go. Not bad for an amateur. Bread dough is not my thing. So again, I'm picking up, twist once. Twist twice. This pretty. I guess you could do that. You could do this as a savory thing as well. So you know the the festive wreath. You could definitely do something like this with your pesto. Instead of doing with a festive wreath, everything turns in the same direction. You just turn it once. Um, but with this, we're going up. We're twisting, and we're twisting again. Only got a couple more to do, so that's good. So picking up, twisting, and twisting again. Not sure I'm under three that time. I'm not sure. The last one. The last two, should I say? So again, picking up, twisting, and twisting again. There we go. All right, let me just wash my hands and I can actually show you what it looks like. All right, so there we are. Actually, let's put that down again so you can see. All right, so that's what it looks like. 
That now has to probe for an hour. I'm actually going to cover it, put it in the fridge and bake it fresh tomorrow morning. But it's done. Um, and I'm sure there are plenty of you out there who will do a much better job than me, but at least it's showing the technique and you can have a bit of a play with it. So um, I hope that's helpful and uh, have an amazing Christmas. <laughs>